Okay, this lesson's on multiplying fractions. When you have one fraction and it's going to multiply another fraction, uh, this is you do not need a common denominator. All you do is you multiply your tops together and multiply your bottoms together. So I'm going to multiply my tops together, numerators together. 5 times 4 is 20. And 3 times uh, 9 is 27. And there is my answer, 20 over 27. Uh, if you have some mixed fractions, um, a good idea, it's not necessary, but a good idea is to turn them into improper fractions first. So 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, so I have 11 over 3 times, and 5 and 1 quarter is 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21 over 4, so I just turn them into improper fractions, and then I can multiply them together. So again, I multiply the tops together, and I multiply the bottoms together, so I get 12 on the bottom, and on the top I'd have 11 times 21, which is 231. Now there is an improper fraction still, so I might want to reduce that down into a mixed fraction. So I'd get, uh, let's see, 12 goes into 231 19 times, and I would have, it goes 19 times, uh, let's see, I'd have 12 times, 12 times 19 is 228, so I'd have 3 twelfths or 19 and 1 quarter. Okay, so when I go to multiply my fractions, you multiply your tops together, multiply your bottoms together, then you might need to uh, put it back into a, a mixed fraction or and reduce it down, okay? Uh, when you have a whole number times a fraction, change your whole number into over 1. The 6 is 6 over 1 times 5 over 7, and again, uh, you multiply your tops together, multiply your bottoms together, so I get 30 over 7, and that, as an improper fraction, you may or may not want to reduce it down, so 30 over 7 turns into 4 and 2 sevens, because 7 goes into 30 four times, that's 28, and so you'd have 2 left over. Okay, so a short little lesson on how to multiply fractions. Thank you very much.